Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can insert symbols in Word when creating documents. Two commonly used symbols are the copyright symbol and the trademark symbol. However, Word also has many more symbols available. To insert a symbol in Word, place your insertion mark cursor in your document where you want the symbol to appear. Then click the Insert tab in the ribbon. Then click the Symbol drop-down button in the Symbols button group. The drop-down menu that then appears shows commonly used symbols and a More Symbols command. Click the symbol to insert from this drop-down menu. If you don't see the symbol you want, then instead click the More Symbols command to open the Symbol dialog box. This dialog box contains a Symbols and a Special Characters tab. On the Symbols tab, you can use the Font and, if shown, the Subset drop-down to choose a specific category in which to look for a symbol. The symbols for the selected font then appear in the large scrollable list at the top of the tab. You can click a symbol shown here to select it. Any recently used symbols also appear in the labeled area. You can click a symbol here to select it too. If you know the character code for a symbol from the selected font, you can also enter it into the labeled text field. You also need to choose where it is from by using the adjacent drop-down. To create an autocorrect entry for a selected symbol, simply click the autocorrect button to launch the autocorrect dialog box. In the Replace Text as You Type field, then enter a combination of characters for the chosen symbol and then click the Add button to add your entry. Then click the OK button to close the dialog box. The next time you then type the autocorrect entry into your document, it is replaced by the symbol you selected. Alternatively, to create a shortcut key for a selected symbol, click the Shortcut Key button to launch the Customize Keyboard dialog box. In the Customize Keyboard dialog box, the cursor appears in the Press New Shortcut Key field. Press the combination of keys to use for a keyboard shortcut in conjunction with either the Control or Alt keys. When you press a key combination, it appears in the Press New Shortcut Key field. Below this field, a currently assigned to line appears. If the shortcut key you entered is assigned to another command, that command appears here. If you see currently assigned to unassigned, then you may use that keyboard shortcut. You do not want to replace existing keyboard shortcut keys if they are already assigned. Once it is currently assigned to the unassigned choice, you can then click the Assign button to assign the keyboard shortcut you created to the symbol that you selected. You can then click the Close button to return to the symbol dialog box. Later on, you can press the shortcut key you created in a document to insert the selected symbol. The Special Characters tab in the Symbol dialog box contains a list of characters and their corresponding shortcut keys. You can click a symbol in this list to select it. Note that the same autocorrect and shortcut key buttons also appear here. After selecting a symbol on either the Symbol or Special Characters tab, you can also simply click the Insert button in the Symbol dialog box to insert the selected symbol into your document. Then click the Close button to close the dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.